Morning, y'all. Hope you're doing well. My daily driver sold. So currently I am without a working vehicle. So definitely some urgency to get this thing going so I can drive around. So you can see the other project car is just chilling there. Um, not a priority at the moment until this thing is uh, moving. So doing some more research on the interwebs. Come to find out, yeah, in fact, my coolant loop is uh, reversed. So the thermostat side is actually supposed to feed to the low part of the radiator. So that'd be why I was having some weird issues with uh, it not burping correctly. Got my other hose. I'm gonna take that one, I'm gonna connect that one to here and basically connect this one to there. Should help move some things up. And I've tried to start this thing a few times and it will not start anymore after playing with the uh, injector pump timing. So I bought a timing kit and I'm gonna retime this thing, and give this thing about a 10 to 14 degree advancement and hopefully that'll help sort out some issues. I also wanna do a flow test on the little lift pump deal um, having a feeling I might also be fuel restricted I might not be getting enough fuel flow which would then ultimately affect its performance which is why when it's not under load it will still rev up high but when it's under load it will not rev all right I'm gonna go pop these uh, coolant lines off and see you guys in a minute Not my finest work, but uh, she'll hold, I hope. So I think I'm gonna also address this elbow. Um, I might add another uh, 180 in there to make that bend a little bit smoother. Fill this thing with coolant and then timing time, which should be quite the adventure. So I have the timing kit in the garage. Gotta pull the vacuum pump off, and then I think I'm also just gonna completely bypass the little lift pump deal. I think it's actually causing more harm than it is help. Getting into the timing. Fortunately, they put this piece on the back of the camshaft to lock it in place. I had to take the valve cover off. Figured I'd you know give the cam a little inspection, which you know it seems to be pretty solid. I don't see anything that's like super glaring or any huge issues in there. Um, not a lot of sludge in this engine either, which I was really impressed about. So from here, I'm going to put that piece on the back of the cam after I rotate the motor to what I think is um, top dead center. Uh, I'm going to pull a glow plug out as well, so I will we'll really be able to figure out where that is. Um, typically with this motor, you're supposed to use a little timing indicator on the flywheel. Well. This thing was never built to handle a flywheel from a later generation Audi, so it does not have that timing mark. So to find top dead center, uh, basically cylinder one, this one, and I'm gonna put a welding rod in there and wait till it's at the peak, and then I'm gonna call that top dead center. And then I'm gonna back the uh, pump about 10 degrees off from there.
All right, so that's about where my original timing mark was. And that actually does fit in there basically perfectly. So that's a good sign. Wanted to fall out. Let me see what I can do here. Hmm. So I actually think my cam might be off a tad. So let's see. Yep, my cam was off by a little bit. So now, cam is in time. I'm about a tooth off on the cam. Interesting. So now, with something like this, uh, there's a bolt on the end of it. So you can actually loosen that, so then you can still turn the rest of the motor around the locked camshaft. So I'm gonna go do that. After bashing this thing with a hammer a few times, uh, she finally broke loose. So that's a good sign. So I'm gonna throw this back on, put the bolt in it, leave it loose, uh, make sure the bottom end is set for top dead center. And then I think I'm gonna jack the pump, I think two teeth forward. And hopefully that will be enough. Um, maybe three and then that gear still has a fair amount of adjustment so i'm thinking if i go all the way forward like two teeth or so then i can always back it off but i guess you never want to retard the timing in something like this so <clears throat> i am going to you know what the more i think about it i think i'm just gonna go three teeth forward Yeah, three teeth forward, set all the way forward. So then if that's, no, eh, set midway. So then if that's too much, I can still play with it from there. So I'll put you guys down, throw this back together. Sure, that should be, it's fine to me. So let's throw this all back together. <clears throat> This doesn't really matter, but to me it does, so I will want to use kind of backup. Okay, so that was a pain. I am timed, I'm advanced about 10-ish degrees, uh, and then I still have a little bit of plus or minus on the gear itself. Belt on, both gears are on, both hand tightened. I'm gonna go throw 
the tensioner on and um, give that thing tension. And then once that's all set, I'll set the cam. And then hopefully this thing will fire up. Um, so I didn't realize after playing with this a little bit more uh, how much slower my timing was. And I, I'm actually really impressed it even ran at all. Um, that was really bad, really out of time, but I guess it's part of learning. Um, but it's all good. Didn't make contact with any pistons with the valve, so... Sweet. Cool. I'm going to button this up. Good. Side's still tight. That one's good. That's good. All right, let's verify we're at top dead center. Okay, so that's about top dead center. Pump is still advanced nicely. I hope it's enough. All right, well, it's good enough for me for now. We'll tighten this back down. Cool. <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna throw all this stuff back on, uh, glow plug back in, and I will see you guys in a moment for a start.
All right, so it did not start that time. Uh, I think my battery's about cooked. I am getting smoke out of the exhaust, which is good. So let's just try again and see what happens. Yep, this battery is cooked, so let's jump start. Booty G. Just long enough. So new, advance this thing ever so slightly and see if that does it. Actually, you know what? Just kidding. I'm going to bring it back first. Okay, so that slowed it down a bit. So let's see what that does. Unless I still got air somewhere blowing through this thing, which that could also be a possibility. <laughs> 